Hey, what's good, YouTube fam? Coach Rod, your number one kingdom coach. Giving y'all relationship right from a kingdom perspective. Now listen, I want to respond to a comment. And I want to tie this, this, this podcast. How should a woman choose a man? And I, I read the comment. And the comment said, Coach Rod, I respect what you are saying. But men don't have final say-so. I agree. We don't. A man should never have final say-so. He just pursued. You see what I'm saying? A man just pursued. That don't mean he have final say-so. Women always going to have the final say-so. You see what I'm saying? And y'all know I, I, I do the illustration about the female eagle a lot. When the female, when the male eagle want to mate with a female eagle, guess what? She choose the male eagle who going to pursue her, who going to to impress her. Right? What what the female eagle do? She get a stick and she fly high and she drop the stick. That male eagle got to catch that stick. If he catch that stick, she get a bigger stick and fly higher. And she drop the stick. He got to catch that stick. And she keep doing the process. Remember I told y'all about the male, the female eagle? And she go high as she can and get the biggest stick she can carry. And she drop that stick. And that stick is about the size of her weight. And she drop that stick real high. And if the male eagle want to mate with her, guess what? He got to catch that stick. So if a man pursuing you, you don't have to choose that man. But the average women choose every man that pursue them. I know somebody right now, personally... A female friend of mine, she choose every man that pursue her. She cannot reject a man. A lot of women, y'all can't reject a man. Guess what your problem is? So my sister, I agree with you 100%. The woman going to have the final say so. He pursue, he supposed to impress you, and then you choose him based upon how he treats you and how he look. Right? But let me get to that point. It's been said men marry who they want and women marry who, who they can. No thanks. I'm also very visual as women as a woman. So you're not so if you're not good looking with decent character, I don't want you. And I agree with you hundred percent. Except with a decent character. You can't say decent character. He gotta have good character, not decent. Not decent. So he gotta be attractive. And he got to have good character. So, that's the only thing that I want to correct. Not decent character. You don't want a decent character, man. He got to have outstanding character, okay? So, how does a woman choose a man? A woman choose a man based upon, number one, his character. Okay? His character. She choose a man, number two, based upon his looks. Choose a man based upon his finances, his ability to provide. I do not believe in a woman choosing a man because he got character, but he broke. If a man is not financially stable, you should not date and marry that man. Okay? So you choose a man, number one, character. Number two, looks. And number three, financial provision. That's how women choose a man. But y'all, not y'all, but a lot of women that I coach, they choose the opposite. They choose ugly men with no character and no money. And this is why I tell y'all on a lot of my videos, broke, ugly, and no D. And y'all think I be trying to crack and make fun of people, make fun of men, put men down, but this is what I see in coaching. I just don't understand why women choose every man that pursue them. I never said you got to pursue, choose a man because he's pursuing you. I never say on their video or their podcast that a woman should be with a man who she's not attracted to. Physical attraction go both ways. And a woman in inbox me or emailed me one time and she was telling me about this man she with. Very nice man. Provider. He's good to her kids. But this man big. He got a stomach. He got bigger since they've been together. He keep on eating. keep on eating. He keep on getting big. The man's stomach start hanging below his waist. Okay? Then what she, Coach Rod, what should I do? Should I keep going on with the relationship? He, he, 
we engage, you want to marry me. What did I tell her? Sus, if you marry that man, you're going to be selling. I told her, you got to look at it. I know he's a nice man. He'll father to your kids. He'll provide her. But sus, the man, if the man's stomach is going below his hammer, I, and I say this a lot, and y'all think I be trying to be funny, but I'm being real. The man's stomach going below his hammer, don't marry him. If you're a woman and you want a good sex life, if you want good bedroom, don't marry a man like that. Okay, I'm coaching. I coach women who marry men like that. They told me, Coach Rod, it's like exercise doing that with him. I, my ex, one of my ex girlfriends, she married a man like that. She told me, Rod, it was like exercise doing that with him. I had to lift all that stuff up and try to get it in, and I couldn't feel nothing. He making all that noise. He on top of me making all that noise. I ain't, I ain't felt nothing. It was like exercise. You see what I'm saying? But y'all be marrying these type of men because they nice. That be y'all. That be y'all. I say y'all, I'm not talking about all women, but a lot of women, y'all marry a man just because he pursuing you. I never said that. You can't reject a man. But that's the problem with a lot of women. Y'all don't want to reject a man. And then y'all want to look at me like I'm telling y'all to get with anybody that pursue you. No. And I'm not mad at my sister. You know, I, I agree with what my sister said. But my sister, I never told women just to marry somebody because he pursuing you. When I give advice to women, I give practical advice. I'm a kingdom man. I'm a Christian man. But I'm also practical. And I got to tell women the truth. When you marry a man that's out of shape, when you marry a man that's that big, I'm not trying to make fun of big people. I'm not trying to make fun of fat men. I'm not just being real. If that man... Breathe real hard to walk from the bedroom to the kitchen. <sighs> he can't do nothing in the bedroom. Now listen, don't come in the comment being the being the class clown like Tony say. <laughs> don't be a class clown. Come in the comment. Well, that is not true. Cause I read a real big man about four hundred pounds, and boy, he was so good in that bedroom. Boy, that thing was so good. Stop. Shut up. Don't come in the comment. You always got to have somebody come in the comment trying to beg a different with a beg a different spirit. I'm a man and I know. Listen to what I'm telling y'all. I know my body. I know my body. I'm going to be very transparent with y'all. When I was big, when I was chubby, I wasn't really fat, but I was chubby. When I was chubby, when I was not taking my, take care of my body, I could not stay up as much. I'm being real. I'm not trying to be nasty. I'm trying to tell y'all Christian people, this is reality. This is life. But when I got in shape, but when I started eating certain supplements, when I started taking my body and lost weight, I see a difference down there. Okay, this is reality. This is life. But y'all women, y'all just married a man because he nice. And then you get married. Then you get married to a big, nice man. And then the man goes six months and don't and don't touch you for six months. Now you sexually frustrated because you married Big Nasty. You married Big Nasty. Sus, if a man that big, his testosterone, and, and, and he unhealthy, his testosterone is going to be very low. He's not going to have the desire to, to, to do that. But y'all women, not all y'all, when I say y'all, don't take it like I'm talking about all women, but a lot of women, y'all marry these unattractive men because they nice. Y'all choose these men. Don't just marry a man because he nice. Now, he got to be nice. That's good if he nice. That's, that's good. Look at his health. Look at his weight. Look at his character. Look at his finances. But y'all... But some of y'all, most of y'all, all a man got to do is be nice, big, or he could be older than you. He ain't got to be that big. He could be 60 years old and you 30 years old, and he pursuing you, being real nice to you. You, you want to be with a, a, 30, a man that, that older than you? That's what y'all be choosing. Y'all choose these men. I'm coaching. I get this all the time in coaching. Women choose any and every man that pursue them. A woman should turn a man down. 
And that's one thing. If the man does not meet your standard in some of your preferences, you got to have standards and preferences, okay? Standards, character, God-fearing, integrity, honest, trustworthy, whatever, good job, financial stable. Standards, okay, um, good-looking, handsome, okay, you see what I'm saying? Pre but those are preferences, right? Now, you may want a man that's six foot two, okay? But you mean a man that's 5'10", right? The average man about 5'10", 5'11", you know, right? You 5'7", you 5'8", right? Okay, so you pre you prefer, your preference is tall. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with your preference. Now, like I say, I got preferences too. But I'm willing to, to compromise on some of my preferences if she have other preferences and meet my standards. For an example, I'm a booty man. I've always been a booty man. But I will come my eyes on that if she have a pretty face. Because if I put that loving on her, she, that booty going to get big. Okay? Because she's going to be glowing. She's going to be eating. She's going to be happy. She's going to be eating. I've seen I've done it before. I have done it before. I have done it before in, in my past relationship. I got with a girl. That was slim and pretty in, in the face. And when I put that loving on her, two years later, booty, hips, thighs, stomach still small. So that's what I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah, you can pull the truth from your preferences, but some preferences you gotta compromise on. So you want him six foot two, but okay, you meet this man, he start pursuing you, right? He pursuing you. You prefer six foot two, but he five eleven. Right? You five eight. He's taller than you. Okay? Now, he he, he he don't have a body with a six-pack and all that right here. But he handsome. He, he got a haircut. You know, he dressed nice. He handsome. But he just not like the body type of what society called handsome in the man. But when you see this man, you can get physically aroused when you see this man. Okay. If he got character, if he treats you like a queen... If he consistent, if you if he pursuing you, if he impress you like the female eagle, he got to impress you. If he impress you, then guess what? You marry him. I'm not telling women to get with no ugly man, but women do that on their own. I ain't got to tell y'all do that. I'm coaching. I'm coaching, and some some of my clients. They show me a picture of they of they of they ex. In my head, I'm like, oh my God. Sus, you was crazy about this man. Again, broke. When they met the man, he was living in a rooming house at the church that the pastor owned. Broke. Not a pot to piss in, and it went and lit the water up. When I saw the picture of the man, ugly. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing good about this man here. Just ugly. And guess what? The man dragged him in the mud. Drag him in the mud. Drag him in the mud. Dog him out. Go be with somebody else and marry her and still call her. Still call her. And she still helped the man fraud the New York government. That's the st stupid stuff that y'all be doing. Dog the house, drag her in the mud, marry another woman within six months, call her and ask her, he married and got a wife, ugly now, ugly and broke, married and got a wife, call her and ask her to help him fraud the New York government to get, to get benefits, lie for him. This is dumb stuff that y'all be doing. I'm not telling y'all to do this, y'all do this on y'all own. Because he nice, Coach Rod. I don't want to be by myself. Father wound, Coach Rod. That's why y'all do that kind of stuff. Y'all marry these just stupid, just dumb. And listen, and not only they ugly, but they stupid. They ignorant. They narcissists. This man that this woman married, he is a narcissist. Hypocrite man. Quote scriptures telling you to submit to him, but he on top of you having sex with you and y'all ain't married and living in your house. This is stupid stuff that y'all be doing. 
Coach Roy ain't telling y'all to marry these men. Y'all marry ugly, broke, dumb, narcissistic, retarded men. Bring the man inside your house. The man going to preach to you about the Bible and then have sex with you and, and shack with you. And then he used the Bible to tell you submit to me. That's the stupid stuff that y'all be doing. Y'all marry, y'all, y'all, y'all date these men. Don't take, don't say it, Coach Rod. I, I never told y'all to get, get with these men. Y'all choose these men. And that's why I'm yelling because I just don't understand why you can't fall out of love with an ugly, retarded, dumb. These men be retarded. They, they psycho. Y'all be in love with, I know somebody right now was in love with a man that is bipolar. I told the girl before she got with that man, when they first started dating, do not be with that man. He going to put his hands on you. Again, ugly, broke, and he got diabetes, and he ain't got no action in the bedroom. How I know? Because she told me. She told me, you know what, Rob? You right. A man that had diabetes, he can't stay up because my ex, he couldn't stay up in the bedroom. Hello, 61 years old with diabetes. Broke, he ain't got no money. When she met him, he was living with his niece. Supposed to be his niece. 61 years old, ain't got a pot to piss in, and anyone to throw out of. This is the dumb stuff that y'all be doing. 61 years old, no four on one cake, no retirement, no house, no car. He can't even drive a car. He can't even drive. He's jealous of her son, because her son know how to drive, and he don't know how to drive. That's the dumb stuff that y'all be choosing. Don't put me in that mess. This what y'all, a lot of y'all be choosing. Bro, ugly, and no D. Narcissist. And then I watched this man drag her in the mud, the whole relationship. My body in pain. When, she used to, when they used to be together, when they was together, she texted me, oh, pray for me. I'm not praying for you. For what? Leave that damn clown. Pray for me. My body in pain. No. What I'm going to pray for you for? Leave the god dog on clown. I ain't praying for you. Body all in pain. Body shaking and jumping. So the man put her hands on him. She go get a screening order on the man. The man got put out by the police. She let the man come right back in the god dog house. They got a restraining order against the man. She go over to the man's mama house where the man was staying at. Spend the time with a man, you got screen all that's the dumb stuff that y'all do. Again, a dumb, ugly man, a bipolar man. And I'm calling him dumb and ugly because that's what he is. He's stupid. Beat women. He go to church and play a tambourine and he beat women. One minute, I love you. The next minute, he 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 put the woman down, tell her your banana pudding ain't all that good. Your stuff ain't all that. You ain't all that here. You no good woman. And then, oh, I love you. That is ignorant and stupid what he do. Bipolar. Y'all queens, y'all choose these ugly men. I, I never told y'all to do the hill. I watch women over and over again choose the same men. Ugly, broke, and no, no, no hammer. I got to keep saying that. I'm not trying to be funny. I know y'all laugh at me, but I keep it real. I tell y'all this all the time. You can't just go for a man because he's nice. Check this man out. Vet this man. Ask questions. Ask about his health. But Christ, a lot of Christian women, religious women, they get mad. You all in the flesh. It's not all about that. Kingdom women are not all about, about sex. Then y'all get married, and then you ain't got no good sex life. And then now I got a woman... Uh, 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 inboxes me or do a video uh, about a sexless kingdom marriage. Because she married somebody that's old, he can't get up and he don't even want to go get help. So when I talk about marry somebody that's healthy, ask questions. If you're a diabetic, I'm not saying you should marry a diabetic, but you want to ask questions. Is he healthy? Is he take care of his body right? Is he eating the right supplements? Is he drinking his water? Y'all don't, don't, don't do this stuff. Y'all just get with a man and he's nice. 
diabetic man, then you married a man, he can't get up in the bedroom because he not take care of himself. But he very nice. And then y'all y'all go six months, no sex. Six months, he don't even touch you. For six months. How I know this is going on? Because I'm coaching. When I talk about these things on my videos and my podcasts about marrying somebody healthy, I'm telling y'all, somebody been through that. They married a man who unhealthy, who do not take care of himself, who who's, who big and a diabetic, in the bedroom was was not on point. I know a woman right now. A woman right now, personally, no a woman right now, married a big diabetic man, and they go months. They got they got a child in the bed with them because ain't no ain't nothing going on. No touching, no cuddling, no grabbing, or nothing. Y'all don't think about this stuff. Y'all get y'all get with anybody. Any man that got a thing dangling dangle to his leg, y'all get with anybody. Y'all choose these ugly men. Not me. I'm telling y'all to choose no ugly men. Women choose ugly men all the time. All the time. When I say don't settle, that means even in the looks department. But even in looks department, women settle with looks. All the time. So, and I, I do these podcasts based on other women mistakes because I don't want to keep seeing women marry somebody just because he's nice. So I try to empower y'all and tell y'all, if he don't look good to you, sis, how the baby won't be? What y'all got to realize, when a man is healthy, take care of his body, he don't have to have a, a muscle body with a six-pack. I'm not, I'm not saying that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm not trying to brag on myself. But I can say myself as a healthy, a healthy man. I don't got a six pack, okay. But I don't have a big stomach going over my helmet. Because I'm a good man, because I'm a man of character. Right now, as a single man, right now I'm taking care of my health. So when I get married, I could be a blessing to my wife in the bedroom. I want to be the best man in. I want to be the best in every aspect of my marriage, financially, spiritually, emotionally, mentally, and physically in the bedroom. So as a single man, I'm health conscious because I realize if I eat junk and don't eat no vegetables, no fruit, and don't take my, my supplements, don't take my most of my vitamins, don't drink my tea, green tea, turmeric tea, I drink those stuff, those teas. That's good for a man in the bedroom. An older man like me, 45 years old, he can't have a good active life in the bed if he, if he take care of himself. Not trying to brag. I'm not trying to promote, promote myself. I'm not trying to sell myself. But I, at, at 45 years old, I still can get up. Just being real. Why? Because I take care of myself. I'm not the health freak. No. But I take care of myself enough to be able to perform. Because I want to be the best in every aspect of my marriage when I get married. So as a single man, I'm health conscious. I be telling y'all about this stuff. I be warning y'all about this stuff. But y'all get with a man who unhealthy, who not attractive, who big and stink, nasty, and he, and he nice. He, he, he just nice. And then they don't really be nice. They be nice to trick y'all. And then when they marry y'all, now the narcissism come out of them. I know a woman, she's attracted, according to her, what she told me, she got a nice body. She keep herself up. She 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 fine. She married this big dude. This big teddy bear. I, I, I just love me a big teddy bear. She married her a big teddy bear with all that stomach. They got married and all that nice stuff. Listen now, when he was pursuing her, he was buying her what she want to buy, taking her on trips, winding down to her, everything she want. When they got married, when they got married, that changed. All the narcissism came out. The bipolar stuff came out. When they have a disagreement, this man would go months and don't sleep with his wife. This man would tell his wife to get out the room. He don't touch her. She go try to live with him and all the hell. He, 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 he could have to go, go. Six months, no, 
No, no physical touch, no cuddling, no holding. This is stupid stuff that y'all be doing. I say, sis, you told me you got a nice body, right? Yeah. How in the world you think this man gonna be in the bedroom now? You should have known this man. Yeah, Coach Rod. Married a big fat narcissist. And the reason why I talk bad about these men, because I'm sick and tired of men like that. I can't stand men like that who disrespect and dog out women. I call these men names on purpose. A big stank fat narcissist. I can't stand men who mistreat women. So I call these men names. They punks. You come inside that woman's life, be nice, be manipulative, buy her all this nice stuff, and do all that. Then when you get married, you then you get married, and then now you want to be a narcissist to the woman. You want to cheat on, not, well, some of cheat. But this situation right here, he didn't cheat because nobody else ain't wanted to stink self. But he go months and don't even touch his wife. He go months and don't even want to be intimate with his wife. No coloring for months. But a healthy man, a man of character, a man of morals like myself, I cannot be married to a beautiful woman that have a nice body that's attractive and not, I got a hold, I got to hold her. Every night, every night, I got to at least touch my wife on her leg. I got to tell her that she's pretty. I got to have some type of intimacy with my wife. It ain't got to be the physical stuff all the time. The, the, the actual act, yeah, that, that's going to be good too. But I'm talking about just to cuddle with my wife. Just to lay in the bed and touch her body. Just to lay in bed and put my hand on her thigh. Physical touch. Physical touch is my love language. I can't be married to a woman and not touching her. You see what I'm saying? Because I'm young. I'm active. I try to keep myself young. I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, for example, you know, with, with this eczema and me getting a little older, I notice my tape, my edges are going back in my head. And so... I said, hold on, I don't want to be 40. I'm still young. I, I want to be 50 years old, 55 years old, and still look like I'm in my 30s. I'm too young to be looking like you have a ball spot in my head. Oh, no. So what I did was I start to, to um, you know, do some research. So I like shopping at Whole Food. Again, I'm concerned about my health. I get my vitamins. I believe in fruits and vegetables. I believe in organic stuff. You see what I'm saying? So if I was home a lot, not on the road, I would be going to Whole Foods, get my fruits and vegetables. Okay, I'm concerned about my health. I want to still look good and young. So I go to Whole Foods, I say, do y'all have something for hair growth? Yeah. And the, the, the young lady put, say here, this stuff right here got um, bigotin, bigotin in it. Watch this right here, and, and, and it will thicken your hair. And then she said, here, here comes the supplement. So I, I, I use shampoo with biotin in it. And I also got a supplement that I take. It's good for your hair, skin, and nails. And it got biotin in it. And when I start taking that, my hair start getting back thicker and my edges start back growing. Why? Because I want to look good. I want to look young. I'm concerned about my look. I'm concerned about my health. And that's what kind of man you want. You want a man that stands out. You want a man with great character. Not okay character not you know what, what she said uh, she wanted a man with some kind of but she didn't say great character you, you want a man with outstanding character you want a class act that's what you want you don't want a man with okay character and good looks you don't want that okay you want a man that take care of himself he, he, he is attractive he not broke he got some money he not he don't have to be a millionaire he ain't got to make six figures. But this man got a savings. This man got 401k, whatever. He working on some things. He got a vision. He got several streams of income. Even if you make more money than this man, fine. You see what I'm saying? But he had to be attractive. He got to have money. He got to have good character before you choose this man. Y'all women choose. Y'all choose anything. That, that be y'all doing that. Y'all choose anything that pursue y'all. Y'all got to start doing that. Stop pursuing. Stop choosing that man because he pursue you. 
That's one thing about a lot of women in this generation. Y'all cannot reject a man. I just don't understand y'all. If a man show up on a first date, stank, smelling like musk and alcohol. This what happened. To, this what happened. With, this what happened with one of my clients. The man show up on a date smelling stank, musky, and like alcohol on the first date. Do y'all know she still want? She still thinking about being with that man? I should have to tell you, don't be with a man who stank, who smell like alcohol, sis. Who don't wash his tail? That's a turn off. If I would have told her, you know what? That is a good man. You can work with that man. He gonna take a bath. You can change that man. She would have went with him. I should have to tell women, don't date a man who stank. Who gonna show up at a date smelling stank? He show up at a date stank. He didn't have the audacity to wash his tail to impress her on the first date. Do you know? Here she go. But he a nice man, Coach Rod. Sus, the man don't wash his tail. Sus, the man show up on a date smelling like booty and alcohol. He a nice man, Coach Rod. She showed me a picture of the man, and he very unattractive. Stank, alcohol smelling, booty smelling, unattractive man. If I would told her, be with him. He's a good man, so don't worry about him being stank. You could change that. She would be right with him. She just, y'all, some of y'all just can't reject a man. I don't understand y'all. <laughs> so, my sister, Coach Rod, I love you. Coach Rod ain't never telling women to give me no work. I never say get with a man who's not attractive. I just explain men to y'all and tell y'all how men fall in love and how we are wired. I can't really say how a woman fall in love because I'm not a woman. I don't know how y'all fall in love. I go by what I hear other. I go by what I hear other women say. I've heard other women say a woman gotta feel safe to fall in love. A woman gotta be cherished. Okay, a man gotta be consistent. Calling, she gotta feel safe. So that's what I know, but I don't know that for sure. I'm going by what other women tell me on videos. So I'm just explaining men and telling y'all how men are wired, and telling y'all that you so fearfully and wonderfully made. You ain't gotta beg God for no husband. You ain't gotta pray to God for no husband, and God gotta make this man marry you. God, God gotta open this man's eyes up to see you as a wife. Y'all so wonderfully and fearfully. That's my whole point of that video. Not to tell y'all that because a man pursuing y'all, you got to marry him if you're not attractive. That's not why I did that, 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 that podcast. To tell y'all how men are wired. Men are wired to follow up through physical attraction. You ain't got to pray to God and ask God to get a man to pursue you. That's how awesome and fearfully and wonderfully made women are. He just got to see you and he pursuing you. That's my whole point of that podcast. I'm not promoting women get with men who not attractive. And if I always talked about the female ego, the man got to impress you. He got to impress you. He got to impress you with how he dressed. He showed up on a date, on a first date, stanking, dirty clothes on, dirty shoes on, bad stinking breath. Cut him loose right there. That's a last date. But y'all, y'all still date the man because he nice. That be y'all doing that stupid stuff. If a man got poor hygiene, that's it. Cut him off. If he don't have enough sense to take a bath before he going to date with you, cut that man loose and never talk to that man again. Y'all, y'all the one can't cut a man loose and keep going on and on and on with ugly, stank, dirty, stupid, dumb men. Narcissistic, bipolar, retarded men. Y'all fall for these type of men. And the reason why I'm talking bad about these men because I can't stand them. I can't stand a man who cheat on a woman over and over again, who put a woman down, who abused uh, uh, a, a woman verbally with his mouth and call her out her name. This is why I talk bad about these men. I can't stand them. These are the dirty, stupid dogs that y'all choose to marry and date. 
five years, you let an ugly, stupid, narcissistic, hoish, doggish man who, who ain't got nothing going for himself, not one thing good going for himself. He ain't got no character. He ain't got no looks. He ain't got no D. He ain't got nothing going for himself, and y'all could not let these men go. Y'all sit right there and get dragged in the mud by an ugly man. Well, God, dog, if you go get dragged in the mud, get dragged in the mud by a handsome man that got some money. That's wrong, too, but at least you got some, okay. Well, at least you got some money out the deal. At least you got some good hammer out the deal. Y'all risk y'all soul to go to hell over some ugly, stinking, dirty dog. In the bed with a dog with no D. You risking your soul to go to hell for that? If you're going to risk your soul to go to hell, go to hell happy. Go to hell with some good D. Go to hell with some money in your um, in, in your bank. Go to hell for that. Y'all go to hell for these old stupid, dirty, dumb behind clowns. So I'm not mad, y'all. I'm, I'm passionate. I love I love my sister. My sister, I'll give you 100%. You my sister for another mother. I'll give you 100%. Do not marry and date a man who not attracted to you. Women have the power of choice. It's your decision. All a man got to do is pursue. You choose him. Based upon his character, number one, his looks, and his finances. If he broke, if he ain't got a pot to piss in and a window throw out, if he ugly with no character, do not date and marry that man. Okay? And then Coach Rod, man, keep it 100 with y'all. I tell y'all, I'm real. I try to deal with real, real stuff. I try to deal with health, healthy men, high men, body heels, because I understand I'm coaching, and this is what's going on in marriages. Christian marriages right now are not being intimate because the man don't take care of himself. And the sad part about it, the man don't want to go to the doctor and get help so he can be a blessing to his wife in the bedroom. He, a lot of these men are good with not being able to please their wife sexually. They don't, they don't even want to be in the bed with their wife. They want to cuddle and hold their wife. They good with going six months with no action. So I deal with this stuff to y'all Christian people because y'all don't understand because y'all so holy and spiritual. Don't talk about that, Coach Rod. It ain't, it ain't all about sex, Coach Rod. It's all about that. It's about how a man treat you. And then y'all get married. Now you said we look frustrated because you, you, you so spiritual and holy and thou. Nothing wrong with you as a woman wanting to have a good bedroom life with your with your future spouse. Nothing wrong with that. You want to keep the bed spouse spicy. You want to be and enjoy your husband. You can't not get married in the bedroom not spiced up. But y'all be doing that stupid stuff. Okay? Hey, coaching. The link for that is going to be inside the description box. God bless y'all. I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all soon. Tomorrow, I'm going to plan doing this, this podcast. But I had to respond to that comment. To let y'all know, don't put me in that mess. I'm not telling women get with ugly men. Y'all get with ugly men all the time. When I say y'all, not all y'all, but the majority of women get with ugly men that I see in coaching. Get with ugly men. And they tell me, Coach right, he wasn't even all that attractive. I don't know what I was thinking about. That's what y'all go wrong at. If he's not attractive, immediately no friends, no contact. If he's not attractive, don't call me, don't text me. No. That's how men do y'all. Do the men the same way. Because men do y'all the same way. If there's no attraction, he ain't going to pursue you. He ain't going to have nothing to do with you. If there's no attraction, do men the same way. Y'all got to get a man the same message they give y'all. But y'all, let a man who's not attractive and be y'all friend. They going to go with these male friends. Oh, my male friend. And then he start being nice to you. I'm coaching y'all. It happens all the time in coaching. Your ugly male friend. Your stinking male friend. Your narcissistic male friend start being nice, start manipulating you, and you fall in love with the ugly man. Cut these ugly men loose when they when they pursuing you. Cut them or lose no friends. If you are not my husband, you can't be my friend. If you're not my husband, you cannot be my male friend. We ain't talking on the phone. We ain't texting. Because when they start talking y'all on the phone, start texting y'all, y'all fall in love. Now you're in love with an ugly stink. Broke, narcissistic man.
Let me shut up. Hey, God bless y'all. Talk to y'all soon. <laughs> it's tight, but it's right, baby.